Hi everyone, welcome to Spice and Pens. If you like our channel, please hit subscribe and thank you for watching. Good afternoon and welcome to Spices Pans. Today we are going to make and show you um, how to make this mohiang or five spice roll. Um, I've cut up most of the meat already, but what I'm using over here is actually um, streaky pork. Okay, um, I've cut it into strips like this, and then I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces like this. Um, of course, if you want to skip this step and go for ground meat or minced meat, you can ask the butcher to do it for you. But trust me, with this way itself, it's actually worth the trouble because the texture when you're eating it is. is the, the time is actually much much better um, I'm cooking a lot or rather making a lot of the five spice roll uh, because I'm making for my families and they love them a lot so what I bought today is actually seven kilograms of streaky pork as well as seven kilograms of shrimps um, which I've already deshell and cut them and give them a little tight uh, smash itself okay it has to be big in pieces because you want to taste the uh, the, the sweetness of the prawns in your roll also so let me just finish up with this uh, pork over here. After I cut them to small pieces like this, what you need to do is just um, give them a small light chop. And we are done. Okay. This is what we've done. I've also added in some uh, pork lard come just small pieces like this because um, for the five spice rolls to be good you need to have a little bit of fatty pork so let me just put everything in first so over here this is actually um, 3.5 kilos of the cut meat um, I've actually took another 3.5 kilograms of minced meat so I'm going to combine all of this together together with uh, the onions over here so this is 3.5, this is 3.5, yes, this is 7, 7 kilo. kilo, yes. I have over here the red onions, I use 5 of them, cut into pieces like this. Not too small because if you cut them into two small pieces, they will actually sweat a lot and then rendering your 5 spice roll very um, wet and limp. 5 red onions as well as 5 yellow onions and cut into pieces like this, okay. I've also um, cut up some uh, water chestnut. I used to five pieces of uh, 25 pieces of this I actually cut into sizes like this okay I'll also be adding about six eggs to the mixture itself okay um, of course five spice roll the most important is five spice powder all right um, I normally wouldn't like to buy from supermarket the five spice powder this one I got it from one of the grocery store or you can actually go to all those Chinese medicinal hall and then actually um, ask them to make it fresh for you. This is really good. Very, very nice. Of course, uh, salt, to salt, pepper. Um, you can use either chicken stock powder or pork stock powder. For me over here, I actually use pork stock powder. Okay. And of course, um, this is very important, the beaker skin itself. Um, I have a helper over there. My mom actually is helping me cut it up um, to smaller pieces. But of course, depending on how you want to roll your spring roll itself, it can be a smaller piece or a bigger piece. No, we, we prefer it in a small small piece itself. So when I deep fry it itself, everyone can actually have one piece by itself and then we don't have to cut it anymore. So um, let's begin with mixing them up. Okay, I've put um, separate out into uh, half of each and place them in this basin over here because I don't have one big basin that's big enough to fit everything in. So inside this basin, there's actually um, three and a half kilograms of a uh, streaky pork, which I have cut, okay? Um, three and a half kg of prawns, which I've cut and slightly smashed them also. Uh, there's also um, two and a half um, red onions, cut up, two and a half of the yellow onions, chopped pieces of the chestnuts over here. Now we're going to add in some flour to make them stick together. So we're using about six tablespoons of this. One, two, three, four, five, and, and six. Okay. 
Next, we're going to add in the five spice powder. We're going to put approximately about four teaspoons of this. One, two, three, and four. Two teaspoons of salt. Three teaspoon of white pepper. Let me just open this up. It'll be much easier. <laughs> I have half a teaspoon just now, so this one teaspoon. Two teaspoon and one more. We we'll also add the pork powder. You can use chicken stock powder if you want to. I will use four of this. One, two, three, and four. Last but not least, we are adding five beaten eggs. Now I have to mix them well. Okay. This is my mom here, um, showing us how to actually wrap the five spice roll. Before that, actually, what she did is to actually wipe the beaker skin because of the excess salt itself. Otherwise, it would be too salty. So she will show you again on how to actually wrap it. Cut off those uneven uh, skin itself. She took a scoop up some of the mixture which we have like just now made flatten it a little bit on the skin make sure it's approximately about 2 inches up from the end of the skin roll it, pull it back so that the skin can stick roll it again and press the two sides and hey presto you are done right I'm in the midst of uh, frying the five spice roll the production line is still ongoing uh, and I'm, I'll keep flying. We are making about close to 400 pieces or maybe even more for all this ridiculously good five spice roll. I'm going to deep freeze them when they cool down. And when I want to feel like adding some of them, I'll just take out some of them and just place it inside the air fryer and heat it up. It will still remain as good and crispy. Of course, uh, I'll not be keeping all the 400 pieces for myself um, I'll give some to my sister, my brother and for all the friends and relatives that's going to come visit my place during Chinese New Year We have a fist! Do try out our recipe because it's really really good When you are deep frying all this, try not to turn the flame up too high because uh, we just want to Cook the five spice roll and not to darken it way too much. Otherwise, when you heat it up, the time it will turn black very fast. Right, um, this is the production line. Uh, my mom is helping us with uh, rolling it, rolling the five spice roll, as well as uh, our helper over here. I think they're doing a great job. Look at how uniform and even all this five spice roll are. 